pictures from an old radio book from the 1930s. A transmitter here and another transmitter. So let's go to the front from the book. It's called uh, Amateur Transmitters. I bought it on the flea market a few days ago. Issued by Cosmas um, in the Netherlands, Amsterdam. And um, it was the first book, 1932-1933, that was about uh, amateurs, radio amateurs, and then especially radio amateur transmitters. The first um, uh, permissions in those days were issued to radio amateurs to make a transmitter by the state. And I want to show only a few pictures from this book. This is one transmitter, page 16. It was a transmitter by uh, PAORT from Rotterdam. Of course, tubes everywhere. Go to the next picture. Um, also in Rotterdam, this transmitter was um, was made and operated in 1933, approximately, I think. And of course, a lot of theoretical things about um, coils, uh, the skin effect, for instance, from coils here is demonstrated that uh, the biggest coil, sorry, the biggest current, high frequency current, flows at the skin from the copper wire. And that's also why they advised not to use normal copper wire with a kind of band copper. I hope I can find it. Cannot find it, sorry. Transmission tubes from the 1930s. Oh yes, here it is, the issue um, that when you use kind of stretch copper so not um, cylindrical, cylindrical. There was a better uh, performance for transmitters. So more current could be um, sent out due to the skin effect. And here that, that was a demonstration um, when the coil has this form, there can be a higher current. Anyway, uh, transmitter circuits, more transmitter circuits with tubes, of course. So, a few other pictures. Uh, this was also a transmitter. Here also transmitters in Amsterdam in the 1930s. And a, a crystal tuned transmitter in Hilversum in the Netherlands. And also here. So that was more or less all to tell. Of course it's impossible to um, give a, a good comment on this book in a few minutes. Here also a transmitter in Amsterdam in those days. 
So, always build with tubes. Always more or less uh, handcrafted. And the whole radio uh, technology was in its first stage after the invention from uh, the radio tube in approximately uh, 1916 and then I mean in approximately 1916 Philips brought out the first series of radio tubes.